Welcome to Accenture's Insurance News Analysis. I'm Abby Compton, here with Kenneth Saldana. We'll be talking about what's making news around the industry. Kenneth, in a first-of-its-kind ordinance, the City Council of San Jose, California, voted to require residents who own guns to also carry liability insurance as part of their homeowners or renters policies. Assuming this action survives all its court challenges, how do you see insurers responding? Can they afford to take on the risk of gun violence or will they shy away? I mean, this is a this is a very interesting topic, right? Because it actually it technically is uh, not quite pooled risk. We certainly are blurring the lines now between um, public policy and insurance, which, by the way, is not new. Uh, the insurance industry was heavily involved in things like putting seatbelts into cars, graduated licenses. Uh, you know, there's lots of examples of this where an important social policy was connected and linked and in many cases advocated for by the insurance industry. This one, as you said, is a little different because it's actually a, a very unknown and uh, open-ended risk that is actually uh, landing into the insurance pool. Right? Uh, it is also a risk that will be covered only by a very small subset of gun owners, at least in its current form. So it also somewhat undermines the notion of a pool risk because it is actually covering a very specific population with a very specific risk profile. So I do think we will see um, this will be an interesting case to follow and one that will absolutely show up, I think, in other states and other jurisdictions um, as I think socially we continue to try to find ways to attack this problem. Uh, this is a new front on this war. It never has really been brought through the sheer um, make it make it a financial burden to, to own a gun. Uh, and I think this is a new way to say, do we do that through insurance? Uh, it does feel an awful lot like a way to, to hide what would be a typically talked about as a tax on users, like our cigarette tax or the alcohol taxes you see. Uh, this one, for some reason, has been framed as an insurance issue. But I think it's been an extremely interesting debate and an extremely interesting battle to see where this one lands.